Grammar 4, Chapter 20, Conditional Sentence and Wishes, Part 2. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to recognize mixed time in conditional sentences, demonstrate the ability to omit if, identify implied conditions, and form verbs following wish, and use would to make wishes about the future. Using mixed time in conditional sentences, frequently the time in the if clause and the time in the result clause are different. One clause may be in the present and the other in the past. Notice that past and present times are mixed in these sentences. A is true. I did not play soccer several hours ago, so I am full of energy now. B is conditional. If I had played soccer several hours ago, I would not be full of energy now. C is true. He is not a good team player. He did not play the game yesterday. D is conditional. If he were a good player, he would have played the game. Please take note of past, present, past, and present. Pause your screen and understand. Omitting if. In A, were I you, I wouldn't do that. With were, had, which is past perfect, and should, sometimes if is omitted and the subject and verb are inverted. So in A, were I you equals if I were you. B, had I known, I would have told you. In B, had I known equals if I had known. C, should anyone call, please take a message. In C, should anyone equals if anyone should call. Implied conditions. I'll go through all the examples A, B, and C, and then I'll explain to you what each one means. So A, I would have gone with you, but I had to study. B, I never would have succeeded without your help. C, he ran, otherwise he would have missed the bus. Often, the if clause is implied, not stated. Conditional verbs are still used in the result clause. In A, the implied condition, if I hadn't had to study. In B, the implied condition is, if you hadn't helped me. Conditional verbs are frequently used following otherwise. In C, the implied if clause would be, if he had not run.